Me personally, when it comes to Dorian, I like to make the most of how versatile it can be, how many different regions of the neck are compatible with Dorian. For example, uh, when you're playing in Dorian, the major scale is compatible if you play it a tone lower. So I'll be playing in B and I'll be playing the major scale in A, a tone lower. So that will be compatible. So. Kind of like to miss notes out in what would be triplets, so instead of sometimes instead of going, I might go in that particular instance. I'm missing out the middle note in all those triplets instead of going, I'm going. a uh, really easy one. Now, this to me is the most important one. I don't know if that's just a personal thing, but this trick or method I would strongly recommend. recommend uh, trial and error, using the trial and error method with three note, three string arpeggios. So, let's call this our bass three note, three string arpe arpeggio. B Dorian Now, I might try another one, maybe No, that doesn't quite go because that last note in the arpeggio kind of renders the whole thing non-Dorian So, use might use my ear to tweet that into a more relevant place, like, does that sound better? Yeah, so, now I've used trial and error to go from that, which sounds horrible, to that, so, and that one, that was two. That doesn't, that sounds horrible. So trial and error with three no three string arpeggios. In this case, B Dorian.